rope making. And this is going to be our uh, artist right here, Chuck. Okay, go ahead, Chuck. And how many strands are you going to do there? Uh, I'm either going to do one loop on each hook or two loops on each hook. And then I'm going to cut this off, tail this so it can't come off. Knot it back around here with a half hitch. Alright. Like that, so that it's tight. Then we put the spreader in so that it keeps these, otherwise these strands will wind together and make a mess. Okay. Alright. Take the brake off of this. Take, turn it until it begins to feel just right. So he's going to turn it until it begins to feel just right. So if you turn it too far, it'll kink up and make knots. Okay, now we're going to start down here and allow it to wind up on itself. Now see, why, is your, why, do you, why do you have all these bricks here? Because they provide the weight whoops, to keep this from sliding and making, and it has to keep it tight because if we don't keep it tight, we'll have a mess. Now it's starting to get loose, so I'm going to have to wind it up another turn or two. I really didn't want that to come up there yet, but it did. There we are, all finished. Now I'm going to take around here to keep it from coming up, unwinding itself. Have to leave this on for a couple days while these fibers get used to being twisted that way. Each end right around the knot or right around the end of the where it's wound together. Now how, how long of a rope can you can you make with this? Uh, with this one you're looking at. Oh, okay. There about four and a half feet. However you can take this part here Move it down there 20 miles if you've got enough help. Move it down 20 miles if you 20 want. 20 miles if you've got okay. enough help. Okay. And you got a radio to talk to your help, and you can make a rope easily that long. All right. And we can cut this loose. You see, it doesn't doesn't really unwind much. Maybe a turn, turn and a half. Off there. Here you are. All right. Sample the rope. Good deal. Good job. Thank you.